Johnny Carson, you know, called you Mr. Baseball. Yeah. So, uh, and everybody knows about your passion, <laughs> passion for the game. Where, where did that passion come from? Well, I think a lot of it came from playing, sitting, uh, for the most part. But, uh, well, you know what? Um, I, I think all of us that have played the game know, know how hard it is to play. And uh, although I didn't have, you know, big years as a major league player, I always, I always thought the entertainment part of it, um, uh, to make people laugh, not only at my playing, but at things that I, uh, I could talk about. And, and uh, I, I always thought, Mike, if, if, um, if, if somebody had a kid and they were really not very talented, and if they looked at me and said, if that guy played, our kid's got a chance, you know. That, that was kind of the, the, uh, the idea, and, and Johnny liked to have a lot of fun. I mean, he was um, a, a really good friend, too. And, I mean, after a while, I, I think I started doing the show in 1969 in New York when we were still in New York, and after, I don't know, 15, 20 shows, we didn't have no more scripts, you know, just go on there and wing it. And it turned out to be a lot of fun. And he, he put that Mr. Baseball moniker on me, and we had a lot of fun with it. Well, you have some uh, pretty interesting ties to Baltimore. You filmed Major League Two there. Yeah. Do you have any uh, good memories about that city? You know what? One of my favorite memories about Baltimore is Sabatino's Italian restaurant down in Little Italy. Longtime friends of mine. I still talk once in a while with the folks that uh, run the restaurant now. But I remember all of our years in the American League. and. Uh, I don't, I don't think there was a night that we were in Baltimore that I wasn't at Sabatino's restaurant. But you know, going back to, to Memorial Stadium, I mean, way back, and uh, the great Oriole teams that they had there, I, I always had a good time in Baltimore, I really did. I was stationed in uh, Alexandria, Virginia, which is outside of Washington, so when I had a chance, I would go to Washington, see baseball games and big league games, and of course coming here to Milwaukee and, and um, and working and being able to get back to Baltimore and uh, you know the guys that were there one of my one of my really good friends through all those years was Boog Powell and that came through some of the beer commercials that we did at one time uh, but you know going back to Belanger and Brooksy and and uh, Pat Dobson and Mike Quare and all those guys that were there during the the heyday years you know they had some great teams great pitching staff unbelievable where they had four 20 game winners um, pitching on that ball club, but uh, you know the Ripken, uh, the Ripken story is a is a good one too. I mean, uh, who would have ever thought that Cal Ripken would set that record for for consecutive games played? And his dad and Billy, of course, his brother. But um, Baltimore, Baltimore, uh, for a lot of people now here, before. Uh, the Brewers came to the National League. A lot of these people never knew what happened over in Baltimore. You know that that we had such a good rivalry with the Orioles, and and they 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 did the Brewers pretty bad here. They really did. They're they're always a tough ball club. But uh, yeah, I, I had good times in Baltimore. I have nothing but good memories of Baltimore. Yeah. Any any thoughts about the team nowadays with Buck Showalter uh, taking over the helm? I'll tell you what. Um, the other night when we uh, we played the first game here. And I looked at some of the young kids on this Baltimore club. I'm telling you, one of my favorite guys all time is playing shortstop for you, J.J. Hardy. He's one of the best in the game. Um, he, he's an outstanding personality, too. One of the best guys I've ever been around. Uh, well, when you look at Machado, that guy in center field, Adam Jones, I'm telling you. And, and uh, you know, when you look at, at what they have offensively and, and what they put together over there, and, you know, you got a guy like Buck who uh, who sometimes uh, runs things uh, a little tighter than most, um, makes some moves that a lot of guys wouldn't make, but he's not afraid to do that. You know, he's been around a long, long time. He's been uh, he's been with winners before, and I, I don't think he has anything else in mind when he put this club together. You know, with the Orioles. I mean, some some of these kids. I mean, are really good. I was really impressed the other night. Thank you very much, Mr. Yuka. That was awesome. Bob, come Bob, on, Bob, Bob. All right. Thank you, pal. <laughs>